of American holidays are just utter bullshit and they make absolutely no sense whatsoever. Groundhog's Day, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Passover, Christopher Columbus, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. None of these make any fucking sense whatsoever. They are too devoid of their original meanings or they've taken on pagan rituals and so they're actually worshipping the exact opposite of what they think that they're worshipping. Um, they're just big clusterfucks. Christmas is just one big clusterfuck. Like, we don't even really know. You know, basically it's gift-giving, but it's like a... Keeping up with the Joneses. Hey, look, my kid got a fucking Nintendo. Well, my kid got a Nintendo. Well, my kid got a bike. Well, my kid got a bike. Well, I'm better than you. Well, fuck you. Let's let's arm wrestle. So it's a big pissing contest for suburban nights. That's all Christmas is anyways. Um, Kwanzaa. It's the only one that actually has some sort of foundation. It's about cultural regeneration. It was specifically made up, but it was made up for that purpose um, to have... Uh, to get in touch with your African roots for black folks to get in touch with their African roots. So, what what are we going to do? We throw all these out, what, can, what can we do? Part of it, we can have a rejuvenation of Kwanzaa only then fit it into our own sort of... Um, I went through a Kwanzaa celebration and they said something about their ancestors and so I was able to mention my ancestors. And just like the Native Americans said, if you mention their names to the ground, they're still alive. That, I know that isn't true. I know that just by saying Simon Gertie's name, you know, he's not alive. But I'm creating the image and the idea of him and also any of the events and stories that go behind him. It, it is alive. So the way you keep people alive is by keeping their memories alive, keep their stories alive, their pictures, their videos, their their writings, you know, the things that they believed and held on to. Uh, excuse me. So, and um, a lot of these are seasonal festivals, so I think we should keep the seasonal festivals. I uh, Each one of these uh, holidays we should probably destroy until they're, they're no more mock and make fun of them because they're stupid. Um, so like February 2nd, instead of, you know, celebrating a groundhog, just celebrate James Joyce and Rand or Shakira. Read the Fountainhead on uh, Groundhog Day. Oh, what are you all doing? Oh, you're paying attention to that fat fucking rodent, Puxatani Phil, right? You're checking him out. Yeah, good for you. Well, I read Fountainhead and I'm a stronger individual and you're more of a conformist. I'm more of an individual today. You're more of a conformist. Good for you. And you're celebrating a goddamn rat that's fucking messing all of our goddamn yards up, right? He's fucking up my yard. He's overweight rodent that's, like, gross. They're gross. They're not even cute. March 21st, the springtime dates. I think it should be Africa Day. Um, also, a festival, a month-long festival for Albert Einstein. He was born in March 14th, and he died April 18th. Also, make fun of the uh, Butler Act, which was passed in springtime in 1925, which prohibited the teaching of evolution. Evolution has been around since 1859. We should celebrate the founding of evolution, and there are dates I'm going to go through at the very end here, um, which I think should be uh, annual somethings, but it's not really f seasonal festivals, okay? So, seasonal festivals, that's what we're doing. Uh, for summertime dates, this is awesome for Shea Guevara, okay? We should have a summer fest for Shea Guevara. Shea Guevara's birthday was June 14th, 1928. The summer solstice is seven days before then, so that gives us a week to prepare, and we, we can have it for a month long, right? So, Shea's birthday is the oncoming of the summer solstice, and we should have a big summer fest for Shea Guevara. Uh, seven days prior to June 21st. Right. You also have Tau Day, T-A-U Day, June 28th. This is a nerd argument. Star Wars versus Star Trek. Buffy versus Twilight. You are not. A, you haven't seen a geek feud until you've waded into the Pi versus Tau debate over which is the more worthy scientific shorthand for the ratio of the circle's circumference to its diameter. The celebrations include educating others on why Pi is wrong. So Pi is wrong for some reason, and the Tau's is actually, it's two Pi. And so, why is a Tau more important than Pi? Well, June 28th, we could find out. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, he's born on June 28th. He dies July 22nd. So, there's some days for a Jean-Jacques Rousseau festival. Uh, July 4th, 2012, the Higgs boson was invented. So, the so-called God particle was invented on the uh, 4th of July. So, that could bring back a science on 4th of July. Just... Uh, independence from Britain, really? Are we are, are we that different from an imperialistic English speaking, you know, uh, Christian nation that the British uh, started out by being? I don't think so. I think we're the you know we're the culmination of what the fuck they wanted. They've been able to push our hand, 
you know, the entire way uh, up until today. Uh, July 5th, 1996 is also the first when Dolly the sheep was born. So the Roslyn technique, uh, cloning of Dolly was the most important milestones in the <coughs> history of animal cloning. Since it proved that animal cloning is possible. So, summertime, Shay Guevara's birthday is June 14th. I think we should focus on that. That should be a holy day, Shay Guevara. Tal Day, Star Wars vs. Star Trek. I think that's important. Just a math thing. Um, Jean-Jacques Rousseau. I think that's those are some good dates, especially right before the 4th of July. The Higgs boson. Think about that shit on the 4th of July. The God particle was invented the same day as our so-called independence. Um, not for the Native Americans, not for black people, not for white people that didn't have property or was under 21, or for the women. Oh, you forgot all about them, didn't you, Jefferson? Didn't you, Washington? Fucking terrorist motherfuckers. So then you got Ian Wilmot and Keith Campbell cloned the first animal from adult cells. Dolly the Sheep was born on July 5th. Um, the fall equinox, or the fall, yeah, equinox, the, we have Kentucky Day, or Labor Day is the first Sunday, uh, or Monday of September, but September 22nd, so I, I like Kentucky Day, so Kentucky Day, we got mountains, and we got scenic tourist spots, we got rivers, and waterways, and lots of things here in Kentucky, so we can make it all about pro-Kentucky, um, lots of good colleges, research institutions, we're studying how to raise hemp. Um, we're raising uh, can cannabinoid oil now so people can't, you know, um, die of seizures or uh, um, other cancer or whatever elements that you have out there. So, uh, Labor Day is like the first Monday. I think we can, that's like 14 days away. Then you have Programmer's Day, which is 10 days. So, Programmer's Day is sort of a, um, hey, wake it, wait up, falls on its way, and that's September 12th or the 13th, and that's Programmer's Day. It's uh, before, 10 days before the fall equinox, and it's on the 256th day of the year, which is the hexadecimal 100 day. Okay, so on day 256 is Programmer's Day, and that's a sort of a uh, 10 days before the fall equinox comes in. So I think that's a good, uh, like a precursor. Uh, the code monkeys that make the modern world possible finally get a quasi-official holiday, except they're in Russia. It's an actual holiday, Programmer's Day is. One day of the year where hacking is always white hat, not knowing what reindeer flotilla means is uncool. Um, October 2nd, 1865 is Gandhi's, Gandhi's birthday. Then October 7th to the 13th is International Metric Week. So... I don't know. Fall is sort of open. I don't see anything really. I don't know if any of these will catch. Labor Day, I think, is really cool for the workers, for the unions, for the solidarity, for the strikers. Kentucky Day, we can always be, you know, proud of our state during the fall. Um, but I don't, I don't know if they'll catch on or not. Programmers Day, that's for the the nerds, the programmers, the computer people. Gandhi, he was a pretty important person. International Metric Week. Are we going to go metric? I doubt it. Um, and then the very last one, the winter solstice, uh, Festivus, they have a thing called Festivus from December 20, uh, on December 23rd, it's where you get to enjoy meatloaf, you air your grievances, you have feats of strength as you gra uh, gather around the Festivus pole, and you collect donations for the human fund, and you just don't forget what the true meaning of Festivus is, right? A Festivus, a holiday for the rest of us. We could have a Rainbow Kwanzaa, cultural regeneration for all folks, Black Power Revolution, that's another winter solstice, have Black Power Revolution. Simon Gertie was born on Christmas Day, December 25th, 1741. He was a so-called white man, peachy peach skin, who fought against the American revolutionaries in defense of Native Americans. There's nothing to corroborate his specific accurate birthday, but that's um, that's closer than Jesus Christ's December 25th birthday. So uh, we know Simon Gertie definitely existed, definitely was a man, definitely was a person, was born in the year 1741, where exactly we're not totally for sure. Um, but like a pope, I now designate December 25th to be for the immaculately conceived sun god American revolutionary hero Simon Gertie. I think Che Guevara is going to take the summer and Simon Gertie is going to take the winter. So we'll see how that turns out. December 25th, Graf Mosser Isaac Newton, inventor of both calculus and physics, and thus the uber geek of all geeks is born on Christmas Day. As such, the more science-oriented among us may decorate our seasonal trees with 
heavy but poorly secured apples and let gravity take its course. Sing the one and only Grav Mask Carol while you wait. Extra points for doing this in a vacuum and including feathers and cannonballs in your decor just to pour, prove a point. Apple teenies and derivative equations round out the festivities created in 1993 by molecular biologist Robert Stevens. Darwin Day is billed as a global celebration of science, humanity, and reasons held every year. On or around February 12th, we're kind of switching gears here. <laughs> um, Isaac Newton is a badass, but now we're talking about February 12th. Uh, it was uh, Charles Darwin Day, so that wasn't close to any of the seasonal festivals. So these are sort of other positive dates that I had considered doing something with, but couldn't match it up to the seasonal uh, celebrations. So, created in 1993, molecular biologist Robert Stevens Darwin Day is billed as a global celebration of science, humanity, reason, held every day of the year on or around February 12th, the birthday of the evolutionary biologist Charles Darwin. So, they recognize science as an international language accessible to all individuals and societies. The International Darwin Day Foundation provides new global holiday that transcends separate nationalities and cultures. Darwin Day can be celebrated in many different ways. Civic ceremonies, official proclamations, educational symposia, birthday parties, art shows, book discussions, lobby days, games, protests, and dinner parties. Organizers include academic societies, science organizations, free thought groups, religious congregations, libraries, museums, galleries, teachers and students, families and friends. Darwin Day, we're able to recognize the diversity among us while celebrating our common humanity and the universal understanding that we share. Martin Luther King was born on January 15th. Darwin Day is February 12th. Um, Reenactments of the Scopes trial are optional for uh, f February, for March 21st. Um, Malcolm X died February 21st. Tw February 28th, 1953, DNA is discovered. Martin Luther King died April 4th. Yuri's Night, April 12th, on the anniversary of the first human space flight undertaken by one Yuri. Gagarin, a rocket geeks the world over, attend at least one of a series of parties thrown to celebrate, commemorate, and drive interest in the exploration of outer space. So Yuri Gagarin was the Russian who went into space, the first man to go into space on uh, April 12th. Explosives and or vodka are usually involved. April 20th, 2012 is DNA Day. Historically, DNA Day celebrated on uh, April 25th. It was on April 25th in 1953. The article on the structure of DNA based on the work of James Watson, Francis Crick, and Rosalind Franklin was first published. It's also during April 50 years later in 2003, the Human Genome Project was completed. So 2003, it was actually completed. I didn't know it was completed. And in 2003, U.S. Senate and House of Representatives declared the month of April Human Genome Month in the 25th DNA Day. Um, they didn't make an official annual holiday, though. Malcolm's birthday is May 19th, 1925. We have a system administration day for July 27th. The website you're reading this post on made possible by system admins. So let's, you know, love system admins. August 21st, 1869. That's the Gripshover uh, arrival day. That's when my ancestors... <coughs> That's when my ancestors got into Sanford Town in Ellesmere in northern Kentucky. From Germany, Halloween, Eugene Debs is born November 5th, 1855, died October 20th, 1926, which is Halloween's dates, so we can have something to do with Eugene Debs, take um, Halloween over with a Eugene Debs adornment. He died October 20th, and then he was born November 5th, right? So he died, you know, socialism died, Halloween's dead, dead, dead. Then November 5th, it re you know, resurrects, and it's alive again. So uh, Eugene Debs, if we would have had listened to Eugene Debs, we would have prevented World War One, which would have prevented Hitler. So if we would have listened to Eugene Debs, we wouldn't have had Adolf Hitler. Thanksgiving is November 22nd, 1973. It's also, um, that's when... My uh, uncle had died in a car wreck. He was 18 years old, and uh, he was riding with William Rich uh, uh, of Union in Boone County. And then uh, JFK was also shot on November 22nd, 1963, which was 10 years to the date earlier. Uh, November 24th, 1859, Evolution is created. So November 24th, that's when The Origin of Species is published. So November 24th, that's something. Computer Security Day. November 30th, for only one day, change your password without being asked. Update your AV software. 
Uh, December 5th, Day of the Ninja. You can wear a ninja mask, G, and tabby boots to work and then just appear, disappear for the day to watch Chop Saki films and play Ninja Burger. Your clan's honor demands it. <laughs> so these are other days I considered. They would, didn't fall in any seasonal days. Eugene Debs does follow all around the Halloween and the Day of the Ninja. December 5th is a pretty badass day. Just walk around as a ninja. <laughs> 